Yeah, so my dad was a biochemist and I started out doing biochemistry and then moved to neuroscience. Um, so I, I would have thought at the time as a teenager that that wasn't a major influence, but it's only with kind of age and experience you look back and reflect how important those things um, are in, in growing up. And I wouldn't say I wanted to do what my father did, but I absolutely wanted to have you know, his respect and support for the decisions that I made in my life. And of course, there are plenty of things I didn't tell him because uh, you know, he wouldn't have approved. And, and I sort of see that a bit with my own children now. They, they really want to do things for my approval. And actually, my daughter is going to study medicine. Um, and I can, see, I can see that whole cycle repeating itself. Um, I think probably writing a book told me something about life and about the evolution that you go through in life and how you pass on to your children more than your genes, much more than your genes. And that's what my father gave to me. It wasn't just his genes, it was his, um, his drive, his work. He ran his own company. Um, he was a, a very motivated man and he was absolutely driven to succeed. And I appreciate now that I probably got a lot more from him than at the time I recognised. I wrote the book because I really wanted to write about my father. And when he died, it was for me, um, it was just something I felt I had to do. But the experience of writing a book, um, I think it's definitely honed my communication skills. And I also, I think I've come to understand that you don't always end up where you started. So I really wanted to write a biography of my father. But in doing that, I realised that you can only write about what you know. And I'm a scientist. So the book ended up as a story of my father's life. And, and it's told in 12 chapters where each one is a separate topic um, in science, many in neuroscience, because that's my background. And it, and it really ended up as a dialogue between a scientist and a daughter. And that wasn't what I intended, but um, I'm actually quite proud of it in the end because I use a lot of analogy in the book. Um, I use a, there's a lot of science in there, but it's not for scientists. So it really, I think, honed my skills in thinking in a different way. It, it allowed me to think more broadly about how science contributes to the world in, in a way that's beyond the work that I do and how it frames our place in the world. And that's how I think of myself as a scientist. Yeah.